Hey guys and welcome to Help with iOS 5. Today we're going to be having a quick look at Safari and its new reader function that's found in iOS 5. Um, cool, so I've loaded up a couple of articles already so I'm going to tap on Safari. I'm going to start off with uh, this right here. This is the New York Times and you'll see um, right now, just pinch out, um, we have an article which has a load of rubbish on the right hand side. So it's asking for our email and really I just, I, I just want to read this article on the left hand side. So on iOS 4 you did have a good feature, or I, any iOS prior to iOS 5, which is just double tap with one finger um, onto the article and it would zoom in and you could just scroll through. But what you couldn't do is change the text size of that. So maybe if you couldn't really decipher what each word said and you're zooming in some more, you know, you're, you're scrolling for days to try and read it. So on iOS 5 they introduced a new function called Reader. So if you see in the URL bar, uh, it says reader so I can just tap on that and you'll see now I can just scroll through this article change the text size if I want to I can even tweet about it so if I tap on it sorry it's difficult to do this through a camera uh, you'll see I can tweet it print it I can mail this article to someone else and it sends as uh, how you see it in the reader function it's a really really great feature just to make sure that you guys know it's just not on one or two sites I'm gonna pop onto BBC and find a random article And you'll see over here, um, again, we have a load of rubbish on the right hand side. BBC, um, a good news website, but you'll see sometimes they'll add in videos or related stories I just really don't care about. Um, so again, I'll just scroll up to the top, tap on reader, and boom. Everything's in place. Again, I can make the text size smaller or bigger. And again, I can tweet that out or print it. And once I'm happy with it, just hit done. Cool, so that was Reader on iOS 5. Um, please do try that at home. Uh, have a play around with that. It is a really, truly great feature. Um, I'd recommend you subscribe to us on YouTube. We release very uh, regular videos. We released two yesterday. Um, one really helpful one about backing up prior to updating uh, any software. Another one's just about um, how to use things like iMessage and your camera app. We have a uh, Twitter account as well, so help with iOS. We have something like three to 400 uh, followers right now and tweeted just short of two and a half thousand times. So we're doing loads of giveaways of things like iBooks code so you can get free books on Mondays. Uh, on Fridays, someone can actually win my iMessage ID so that they can get priority responses to any of their questions um, straight through iMessage rather than on Twitter. Also, please do like our page on Facebook. Same username again as our YouTube and Twitter. It's help with iOS. There you may just find a few more giveaways of uh, code or just generally if you prefer using Facebook than Twitter or YouTube, it's an easier way to stay connected with our feed. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you in a bit.